Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video guys if you have a BMW and you need to test your camshaft position sensor. We will explain guys how to do that, how simple it is and how to find out if your camshaft position sensors are good or bad. Why to waste money on a new one when you can do that simple test and find out if yours is working or not. Now, uh, before we start guys, let me tell you all the tools and parts that we use. We will share the links in the description of the video below. In addition guys, okay, you can see where we get all our tools and parts from here and uh, we do that for your convenience so if you need something you can get it quickly. Now, another thing guys, every single car we get at the shop we make at least 200 free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can and we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video that way we can keep providing this free information. So let us show you what we have here guys, specifically this is a six cylinder engine but if you have a four, six, eight cylinder gasoline diesel engine doesn't matter, procedure will apply to all of them. If you have a four or six cylinder engine, it's very likely that you have uh, two camshaft position sensors, one for the intake camshaft, one for the exhaust in our case. We removed only one of them for the intake camshaft uh, and we're going to explain how to test it now. But uh, before, we, before we start guys, okay, uh, let me just uh, share something with you. Check out this channel guys, Electrical Car Repair Life. This is our second channel and we have helped millions of people guys. We have information that can save you thousands of dollars on future car repairs, uh, on uh, engine diagnostics, fuses, relays, things like that. So check it out, very, very helpful information there. Now, uh, before we start, what do we need to do? You need to get inside your car and you need to start the ignition switch on. What that means, okay, let me just uh, show you quick so you know what I'm talking about. That means that your lights are on on the dash, but your car is not running. Okay, just like that, perfect. With that being said, guys, okay, we need to now go outside, okay, and you need to find out your ground wire, uh, you need to find a wire for uh, the ignition switch wire and a wire that's known as a signal wire. How you do that? Pretty simple. You can actually unplug that sensor. Okay, let's just remove it from here a little bit. I want to show you something. You need to get your voltmeter. You're going to set it at 20 volts reading. Perfect. And if you test with the probe now, okay, with the leads right here, in our case, the middle wire is a ground wire, that's negative wire, guys, because it's black and most of the times the darker colors ones, they will be uh, ground. But if you actually test those wires and you test black and let's say orange, we should get, guys, okay, black and orange, we should get about 12 volt reading. Okay, I'll, I'll hold that thing. Okay, check it out, our battery dropped quite a bit because the ignition is being on, but that will be a 12 volt wire. And if we go on the other side, we should get a 5 volt wire. That way you can find out which wire is actually, guys, ignition wire, which is a signal wire. The one that's 5 volts, this is actually your, okay, signal wire, guys, signal wire. That's what we need. What we need to do next, we need to get the camshaft position sensor, okay? We need to get that sensor and we need to connect it, okay, connect it to the wires. And uh, when you connect it, guys, we're going to peel our wires a little bit. But uh, what I would recommend, there is a special tube that you can clamp on, that way you don't have to peel them. And uh, uh, we're going to peel the signal wire and the, uh, the ground wire. And we have the voltmeter set. We're going to connect the probes, okay, the leads to the uh, alligator clips. And right now, we're going to connect the voltmeter to the wires, negative wire with a uh, negative lead, positive lead with yellow 12 volt wire. And we'll get five volt voltage, guys. Now, if we get a metal tool and you touch a metal tool close to that sensor, the voltage should drop to zero. Check it out now. Zero, perfect, five, zero. So you get the idea. It's an on and off switch, five, zero. So, okay, we need to come close, perfect, zero. So when it detects a metal tool, it actually goes back to zero. When you release the tool, it goes uh, to five. So this is because it reads on and off and that's how it calculates the position of the camshaft. So uh, pretty simple guys. Now, if you pull your sensor and you don't have any signal in those wires, it could be because of a bad fuse and we have a video that explains where usually your, uh, where your uh, camshaft position sensor uh, fuse is located. So hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.